So I think it's only fair that I should warn you that through the course of the next five minutes, which is just cruel, I'm going to ask each and, one of you, and every one of you to change behavior. But now I've got like four minutes, so let's get started. My name is Gail Warner, and I'm an urban upcycle designer. So now you're thinking, what the, huh, what does that mean? Uh, what I do is I take items that generally are destined for a recycle bin, and I turn them into wearable art. And it's wearable art that generally winds up on a runway and supports a nonprofit of some type. I work with things like the plastic from six pack rings. Uh, what you're looking at right now is, um, those are catalogs that came in the mail to me. That's what happens if I stare at a catalog for too long. I don't take it directly to the recycle bin. Uh, my husband knows when I get this blank stare and I'm lasered in on something that something's gonna happen and generally it's stuff like that. Uh, the mohawk on that look is actually made from catalog pages as well. So the reason that I do this is twofold. Uh, number one, I can't help myself. I, I am not classically trained in any kind of design. I don't sew, I don't drape, I don't sketch, I taught myself to do this because I had time on my hands. I spent 22 years in the aerospace and defense industry and I had zero outlet for my creativity. So I'm making up for it now. In spades. <laughs> the second reason, so I'm going to do it anyway, and uh, the universe is a remarkable thing. It tends to uh, bring me opportunities for a platform to show my work. And in the conversation I have after these, these runway shows, uh, people want to know what the items are that, that I've used to make these looks, and I have these moments of clarity as I have these discussions with people, and I see them, this look of guilt crosses their face when they understand that things like buttons that have been sitting around in their closet, that's a necklace I made out of buttons, um, can be used in other ways. Things that they generally are consciously bringing into their household as a consumer on a daily and a weekly basis has flotsam that winds up in a recycle bin. So my challenge to you is to stop and think about the mantra hopefully you already have in your household, which is reduce, reuse, recycle. But be part of it. There's a you in all of that, and that's upcycling. I'm not asking you to wear a dress made out of Target bags. I'm certainly not asking you to wear a dress made out of the course of rolls of paper towel. That's what that one is. That one's actually a perfect example. Uh, much like Wilson, I've been here uh, less than a year and a half, and I don't know that many people, but when I do laser focus on something and decide that it needs to be addressed, um, I ask for help, and people start accumulating the things that I'm asking for. So in less than two months, I was able to accumulate enough cores of rolls of paper towel to make a dress that walked a runway that, and that night alone, we raised $30,000 for the Museum of Arts Land for their Arts and Education Council. So... <laughs> Thank you. Here's what I'm asking you to do. As you're cruising your aisles, however you shop, if you shop old school and you have a cart and you're putting things in your cart, if you shop with a laptop or a mouse, think about the decisions that you're making. Do you really need a skid of paper towel in your house? Uh, I'm not above guilting you into a change of behavior. So think about how many rolls of paper towel are out in your house right now. There's probably one in a bathroom. There's probably one in your kitchen. Instead of instinctively reaching for that, could you please think of alternatives? Perhaps use a rag to wipe up a mess. Use, oh, that's bubble wrap. Mm. Um, I'm still obsessed with that dress. It's nothing but bubble wrap. I have very brave models that wear them. Uh, so back to the change in your behavior. Uh, you know, a washcloth. We live in Florida. We're a sweaty tribe of people. You're going to do laundry anyway. Instead of wasting paper towel, grab a washcloth clean up the mess, throw it in the wash. Another way uh, that you can become part of this movement, to become an upcycler just like me, uh, you don't have to make dresses out of bubble wrap. It's, you know, when I first started this was many years ago, and it's been on the fridges of the mainstream for quite some time. There's the paper towel dress again. That was about 650 cores from Rolls of Paper Towel. Um, Amazon has started to recognize the artists among us who take unusual items and repurpose them in interesting ways. That is a still from a shot from a Taco Bell commercial. When American fast food starts to lock onto the movement, you know it's moved into the mainstream. Uh, that, she's actually a classically trained designer. That designer made a dress out of Taco Bell packaging. So I am an Amazon shopper, uh, but luckily, because of what I do, the packaging that comes into the house generally turns into something else before it goes into the recycle bin. Uh, but right now on Amazon Marketplace, for example, uh, the bracelet that I'm wearing has been upcycled from a vodka bottle. I didn't drink the vodka, I simply bought it from the artist who made it, who is in Miami. Uh, but she has now been uh, added to Amazon. So when Amazon is recognized that, recognizing this, you know that it's a movement and you can become part of this movement. The next time you need to shop for something special for yourself or, or for a gift for somebody, consider an alternative 
to a traditional retailer. Look for the artists among us. So again, back to the change in behavior. Uh, please, you know, simple, simple things that you can do. The obvious ones, don't drink water out of water bottles. Just refill a water bottle that you can clean and use again and again. Be part of this movement with me. My objective is to leave this planet in better shape than when I entered it. You can be part of it too. Reduce, reuse, recycle, you're part of it. Add upcycle to that mantra. Thank you.